beautiful morning. We want to discuss the better deal or my experience with the better deal in a much broader sense. Additionally, this is a working breed, especially for earthwork, so a hunting type of dog. But there are other uh, aspects in daily life, of course. They don't only hunt, and they can kept also as a non hunting working dog as long as they get their mental and physical stimulation that they need. Obey the hunting dog run very deep with them. So please keep that in uh, mind. I'll pause a little bit and come back to it later. So, back on track. Um, if you look at multiple working dogs, especially hunting dogs, there are quite a lot to choose from. But if you look at the real working dogs, there are only for the earth work, the Petterdale and uh, other fell terrier types. This being the black fell terrier types, mainly consisting of uh, Petterdale. Also, uh, the German hunting terrier, also known as the German yacht terrier, could be mentioned as such. It is a fell terrier type, but more of an all rounder. Also, almost impossible to my understanding to keep in a normal way in house. That's a big benefit of this uh, black fell terrier, black fell terrier, that they are quite relaxed in house. I must say quite, because they are quite <laughs> energetic type of uh, dogs as well. They're great with children, they love to rough house a little bit, or a little bit much. So what that means is that they like to yeah, play fight and uh, they don't want to uh, put ill intent behind that but they want to yeah, play rough like children also uh, do quite a bit so for very small children this uh, could not be that uh, nice also they are that energetic and uh, playful that they will probably jump uh, them over or throw them over their body. They're quite small dogs. Traditionally between uh, 5 and I think uh, 12 kilograms, 13 kilograms, something like that. This little guy is 11 kilograms, quite on the maximum spectrum. But they are strong and energetic and they uh, are very well able to throw little children around. Even children that are uh, the same size, we use them for double that. So this is a consideration, consideration to take. In my opinion, they are quite gentle with children, but they do love to rough house, and do love to uh, play yeah, very energetically enthusiastically as well so that's a point for uh, yeah, the family setting another point could be uh, the rural setting or the city setting it depends where you live eh? if you live in a crowded environment you would appreciate a dog that doesn't bark that much I would appreciate it even if, if I was living in a farming uh, setting Children, 
they're quite feisty and will uh, be quite aggressive also with their owners. So I would not recommend them with uh, small children. Nice birds in the V. I don't know if you can see. There they are. Um, yeah, there are other types of boys. Uh, they also have the white uh, fell terriers or the border terriers. Border terriers might be even a better family type of dog. They're a little bit smaller. They also have almost all the benefits of a better hill terrier. Uh, yeah. For me, they have one drawback, and it is their coat is all always uh, broken which means that you have to put more effort in them and I don't like that look as much uh, as I do a smooth coat that uh, looks like this one also it will uh, pick up more dirt and if it's wet it's also harder to dry so that for me would be a big benefit uh, towards uh, black felt terrier or platinum terrier because they also come in a smooth coat like this little guy which I like the most uh, also keep in mind that being a hunting dog there would be quite a possibility that it would uh, hunt and not only foxes or badgers but also rats and mice or moles things you would uh, probably like a lot but could also uh, run into cats, rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, and the likes, which you might not be uh, that fond of. Also, normally they are quite well with uh, two legged uh, animals, including uh, humans, <laughs> but uh, there are also cases known where they were. Uh, not so well with chickens for example and please keep in mind that you need to, to have your vigilance there and not, not keep them unsupervised also with chicken or other livestock which you love because uh, it could very well be a, a bad day for them yeah, they are quite a cozy breed so for example if you uh, that you work together, you have to do the exercise that you want to go sit on the couch for the last hour or so before you go to sleep. We will happily join you. And, uh, so it will be with you on the couch, I lean towards you because he appreciates you. And that's a very nice uh, thing to have. Also, they are. Uh, in general, people friendly. So they are people friendly, but there's one the thing one should note. For example, if something someone uh, uh, that does not belong to your family is in there, it will first uh, alert you often that that is the case, and it might take a minute before they realize it's okay. And just have to let uh, that person be. It all depends a lot on uh, how you uh, react. If you react that he's doing a good job because that person should not be there, of course the outcome will be a lot different than when you tell it everything is fine and to relax. Exercise needs are vigorous. So what does mean is that you have to walk your dog uh, a lot. Also keep in mind that you cannot uh, let it uh, loose everywhere, especially if it can hunt. But uh, it's nice. Car sickness is a thing that can be common. You can uh, solve this or to a large degree by keeping your dog close to you so that it knows everything is uh, okay if it's somewhere that it cannot see you it might stress out a little bit too much 
no doctor is, is distressed. But I think sometimes they're a little bit hyper uh, sensitive to all those uh, external influence that they see. So it helps if you, uh, if you just show it everything is okay. And when it is, you can easily uh, also keep it uh, benched. Some people also keep it benched all the time and say uh, just uh, process it they have to uh, undergo, of course. Also small trips and then building it up will help tremendously. I hope this helped you uh, to see it is uh, in a more general uh, atmosphere context, the Petterdale breed. In this case as a family dog, wish you a very nice working week, all the best.